arcades and coffee. Hey, good morning guys. It's Andy from Moto's Caves and Coffee. Today I'm going to show you the absolute best way to load the Royal Enfield Himalayan on a small utility trailer. So let's go check it out. Now this kind of goes without saying, and regardless of what trailer, the first thing you want to do is perform a safety check on your equipment, including your trailer, the motorcycle, and the vehicle you're using to do the towing with. That includes uh, small trailers, big trailers, it really doesn't matter. Air pressure, bearings, uh, condition of tires, lighting, just general condition of the vehicle. We'll go over some of those. Um, how the vehicle uh, rolls, how it mounts up to your hitch and ball and receiver. Make sure that's okay on your vehicle. Uh, your, your tire pressure, electrical system's okay on your vehicle, as well as on the motorcycle that you're moving, in this case, the Himalayan. Um, there's some great things to the Himalayan that make it a little easier to load, but uh, let's go do our safety checks. One of the first things you want to check is the overall condition of the tires. Make sure the tread has enough depth. Make sure you're all you, you have all your bolts and you check the PSI. I just took the cap off. It was 20 PSI is where you want this tire to be at. And uh, tires are good. Next, we're going to check the mounting of the, uh, the receiver and the ball. Obviously, you need the right ball for the receiver and whatever mounting system or plug-in system for your lights, make sure that works good. So these look good. I got all the pins in. So now, in order to do some of your safety inspections, you wanna go ahead and, and load the trailer up with the receiver onto the hitch in the ball. So I'm gonna go do that now. We'll load the trailer up. This one's pretty light. You can move a lot by hand. Take the pin out. Lock it on, put the pin back in. I'll get a close up of that. All right, so we have the pin in. You put your plug in. It's good. Do not forget your safety chains, whatever type of safety chain you have. This is pretty light duty. Twist them a few times just so they don't drag. That is good, make sure you don't have any loose wiring. So we'll check the lights, make sure the lights work. And uh, load up the trailer. You might be asking what that piece of wood is right there for. Normally I like to use a, a two-step stair, but I don't have one, so I'm using what I have and that's a piece of wood. Uh, to load a motorcycle on a low trailer like this, really, you only need one ramp. Two's fine. Um, some people like to walk up one side of the ramp and roll the motorcycle on the other. I like to just walk it up and then use that as a, as a step. You'll see it's a little bit easier than trying to walk up a ramp balancing the motorcycle at the same time. Ideally, you want two people to help you move. You can usually do it yourself. If you're level on the ground, you can see this isn't quite as level, so it's a little more angled. So you'll definitely need two people to help push it up onto the trailer. Ready? Now that I got the motorcycle on the trailer, you need to center it in the middle there. So, a couple ways you can do it. Himalaya is light enough where you can scooch the butt up a little over. So that's pretty easy to do. So just scoot it over. There you go. And do the same with the front. All right. All right. Put the kickstand down for now, but I'm not going to have it the whole time. You'll see what I'll do next. What I'm going to do now is tie down. Uh, some clamps here down to the trailer and compress the front suspension and then for the back as well too you need four straps to do that so we'll go ahead and do that next one on each side You 
can. There are multiple places to tie down uh, the Himalayan. You can use the, the triple clamps right here. I like to use right here. Some people go on the frame mount, but, but I don't find that as steady. You want to compress a little better. So you can use right above the fender on the Himalayan. And we'll go ahead and tie it down over there. I'll show you a little uh, secret you want to use. Now, if you have a wheel chalk, that's great. You don't have to have one. The, this is a light enough motorcycle. You don't need it. But a wheel chalk is always a good idea if you can get one. Let's go ahead and strap it down. You always want to strap the fronts down first. Make sure uh, you get the, the front strap nice and tight, and then you'll do the rear. The rear, just so it won't bounce around. The front's what's, what keeps it steady. I like putting it in gear, taking the kickstand off. We're gonna get this side and take all the pressure off the kickstand so it can pop the kickstand up. Obviously, it's better if you got two people. If you don't have two, that's fine. Enough where I can pop the kickstand up. There we go. All right. Now, you want to balance it out. There you go. Now you see I have tension on both sides of the bike. I can ratchet strap them down equally. There we go. I got equal pressure on both. This is really what's going to hold it. It's right in the middle. Equal pressure on both. And now I'm going to go get the back strap. Some people like to go through the tire. I'm going to mount right here. I use this to tie down that way. It will compress the bike a little bit. You can also get some rearward pressure. These lugged racks are really good and it won't damage your frame. It is tied down. Last part is show you how to get, get the motorcycle out. It only takes one person to get out. Let gravity do its work, so let's go. You gotta reverse the process on the on the rears. You wanna take the front, the backs off first, and then the fronts. Just gotta be careful, a little bit of time. to get the straps out of the way. I don't want to trip over them. All right, so the best way to take the fronts off is you always want it so you can get to the brake. Whoops, I guess the camera slipped off. Um, I just rolled it down. Not a big deal. Now, you wanna line the bike up off to the right when you roll it down. That way you have room to walk to the side and step down and use your brake to slowly get the bike down. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, I got the motorcycle down. Uh, time for me to go ride. Hopefully you saw the proper way to load a Royal Enfield Himalayan on a small little utility trailer and get it down a little bit. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I want to know your tips and techniques that you like to use. Uh, a bunch of different ways to do it. And that's how I like to do it. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next episode. Enjoy your Himalayan. Mm -hmm.